Hey guys, Ryan from Matt Kite here. Today I'm talking about my top three wing foil accessories. So getting into it here, uh, first one I'm gonna talk about, board bag. Uh, board bag I think is often overlooked by a lot of people. Uh, it's probably by far the easiest way to keep your board in good shape. Uh, it allows you to prevent a lot of dings and damage to your board that would be uh, happening naturally just from putting it in your vehicle, taking it out of your vehicle, taking it down to the sand. Uh, one thing that takes these wing foil specific bags kind of to the next level and preventing uh, damage to your board is if you flip it over here. Uh, one thing to make sure when you're looking at wing foil bags is to look for one that has the slot in the back here. This allows you to keep your foil on your board. Um, this is huge uh, in transportation. There's a lot of times where you might have a walk down to the water. You can lay this on the ground, assemble your foil right here, put it back in the bag, use the shoulder strap to carry it down to the beach. Um, just a, a big saver here with the board bag. It allows you to make sure that you're keeping your board in really good shape and will prevent you from dinging it and potentially missing a session out there on the water because you damage your board to the point where you're hitting the core and you gotta go repair it. All right, next one here I have is a sand anchor. Uh, now we carry online the PKS sand anchors, uh, but any sand anchor will work. What the sand anchor allows you to do, it allows you to hold down your wing in any location without having to worry about it blown away. Uh, now I know that you can connect it to your pump when you're pumping up, which is good. I still recommend that. Uh, however, uh, a lot of people like to connect their leash for their wing onto their foil, and that does work. Difficulty there is when you go to put that leash onto your wrist, most leashes will not allow you to keep the leash connected to the foil while you're strapping it onto your wrist. So then sometimes you have a leash that's out there blowing in the wind or you're trying to hold it down with your foot. Um, so sandbag alleviates that issue, allows your wing to stay in one spot, gives you plenty of slack on the wrist leash to really uh, attach that to your wrist and, and not have any issues there. It also allows you, if you're using multiple wings that day, uh, per chance to uh, add another add another wing and kind of manage two wings on the beach very easily by stacking them and holding them down with the sand anchor. All right, lastly here, and probably the most important or one of my favorite accessories I would say is the waist harness. So the waist harness does is it allows you to hook into your wing, use a waist harness in conjunction with the harness line. And the harness line goes onto your wing near the boom or the center strut there. Um, this hangs off of your wing. The hook on your harness then hooks into that harness line and it allows you to transfer a lot of that, uh, a lot of that power from the wing, a lot of the energy from the wing, that pull into your harness, into your waist directly. Uh, what this does is it alleviates a lot of tension off of your, your hands, off of your wrist, off of your um, arms and this just allows you to go out and ride for a lot longer. So that 30, 40 minute session that you're getting and you're just getting burnt out by the end of it, you can easily turn that into an hour and a half, two hours by utilizing a harness line. All right, if you guys have any questions, uh, reach out to us uh, via one of the links below. Hope to see you guys on the water.